Hey guys, Spooky Squid here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be uh, talking about Nomad Cosmetics. Uh, I got quite a few things from them, so I'll just be doing a first impressions and this look. So if you like this look, keep watching. So recently Nomad Cosmetics came out with their new collection, which is the Studio 54 collection. It comes with a, a palette with four shades and two highlighters. Um, so in this haul I got I got the palette with the multi-chromes and I got one of the highlighters and I also got um, actually I'm gonna show you. So this is the highlighter. Oops. Right here. And this is the palette with the four multi-chromes right here. Um, I also got another one of their palettes because I was like, I'm doing an order. I might as well order other stuff. So I also got their Berlin Underground palette. This is what she looks like on the inside. I already swatched her and like the formula is so good on this. <laughs> So I'm super excited to try all of this out. I'm gonna try to do a look with both palettes and I will be using this highlighter. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> so I haven't done my face yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my foundation concealer on, etc. first and uh, then we'll get into the palettes. So while I do my foundation, I'll talk a little bit about Nomad Cosmetics. In the package they sent me, they also sent me a couple postcards. So this one has the uh, Studio 54 picture, the one in New York, and um, I think it's really cute. Thank you so much for your order. We hope you'll love your new Nomad goodies. Enjoy. Thank you lots and lots. And they did sign it, and I don't know, I'm super excited. That's really sweet, and I love it when companies do that. So Nomad Cosmetics, um, like their name implies, uh, a lot of... Well, all of their palettes have different themes that have to do with different locations. So they have a Tokyo palette, they have um, an Antilles palette, and like pretty much all over the world. Like they tr they travel a lot to make these palettes, and I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, so my face is all done. <laughs> Let's start with the eyes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a slight, I'm just going to start playing around with these. I think I'm going to use like the first row of this palette and then I'm going to use one of the multi-chromes like all over the lid to try to make it pop. They're all pretty like satin finish. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one, try to go in the crease. So I'm taking the shade The Wall, which is this grayish shade right here I usually use mattes for this type of like around my eyes but see how the shimmers work out and I think I'm going to deepen the crease a little bit with this one here. It's still kind of a satin finish, but it's not as shimmery, I don't think. So I'm just gently tapping this into my outer V, and then I'm going to blend it into my crease. Just kind of blend it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, so I'm just gently tapping. It doesn't need a little bit of color, so what I think I'm going to do is... Actually, I'm going to deepen the outer V a little bit with this black shade down right here. I'm just going to grab a little tiny bit and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just gently tapping it. Wow, I barely put my brush in there. I'm going to use a my clean brushes to kind of gently fluff everything out and blend it all together. I'm going to get, grab a little bit more color just to add a little bit more depth. So I think what I'm gonna do is grab the green here and kind of go under my eyebrow at the front here. So it's kind of like ashy with a pop of green. 
and I'm just gonna do a little bit more blending. So for the inner, like the all over the lid part, I will be grabbing one of these multi-chromes. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the green one here. So before I do anything, um, I'm gonna grab my glitter primer to make sure it sticks onto it. If anyone was wondering about the packaging, um, there is a lot of glitter, but it's not the type of glitter that falls out. Like I'm rubbing it and there's nothing. It's just pretty stuck onto it. So I still have a little bit of glitter primer on this brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this green shade called Got To Be Real. <laughs> And I'm just gonna gently grab some here and I'm going to put it on the outside right next to where my black was. For the inner portion, I am going to grab Le Freak, which is the gold kind of multi chrome shade. And I'm going to do the same thing. It has a kind of like a peachy, I'm going to go all the way into the inner corner of my. Eye. And we're just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So these shades are a bit sheer. So what I would suggest to do, like, I didn't do it, but maybe put a lighter shade underneath just so it doesn't seem as sheer. And I'm just gonna do the under eye. So for the under eye, I think I'm gonna grab the same green shade right here and go look underneath right at the end. And I think for the other half, I'm going to grab the gold one right here to kind of brighten up that area. So this is what the eye look looks like. I think it'll look nicer uh, once I put eyeliner and my lashes on. So I'm probably gonna go do that right now. So my lashes are on. Um, I didn't do my eyebrows yet, so let's do that right now. <laughs> All right, eyeliner, done. Lashes, done. Eyebrows, done. Uh, let's get into highlighter and lipstick. So I don't know if this will really match with it, but I do want to try it. So let's dig into this. So it does have like a shiny, like pink to blue to purple sheen, which like I said, doesn't really match what I'm wearing right now, but makeup is just supposed to be fun. It comes right off anyway. This is different from any highlighter I've ever had. Like. I really like this and I'm really happy I picked this color. It's so pretty. You know what? I like this. So since I kind of went for a grungy tone today, I'm going to pick a grungy color for my lips. So I have this new one from Sugar Pill. Um, it's called Dress Code and uh, it's this grayish color with gold flecks. So I'm going to, I think it'll match well with what I'm wearing right now. Oh man, they smell so good. And last step, let's put some setting spray. And this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, overall, the shadows performed really, really well. I, I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit more. Um, I wish they had put more mattes in this, but We'll just play around and see what else I can make with this. And for the multi-chromes, um, like I said, they are very sheer, but you can build them up a little bit. Um, and um, honestly, the colors are really pretty and the price point is perfect. Um, as for the highlighter, I'm really happy with this. This is gorgeous. Um, uh, I almost wish I picked up the peachy one, but this is the one that I was, really eyeing so first impression really good um i'll definitely be purchasing more from the nomad from uh, nomad cosmetics um i think the next bundle will probably be the tokyo palette and um if they have anything new we'll see what they have um but overall i shadows are really soft and buttery um the ones from studio 54 are pressed a little bit harder so they are a little bit harder but there's no hard pan um, they're pretty easy to pick up. It's just the sheerness, like I said, but yeah, overall 
good company. Um, love the postcard. Love the packaging. And uh, they get a thumbs up from me. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the look. Um, I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.